Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to give you all the latest settings to get the very best out of the Razer Kia. Since my last video, Razer's pushed out a number of updates via the Razer Synapse app, but unfortunately, none of them updates cured any of the issues we're experienced with the Razer Kia camera. In fact, the last update seemed to cause more issues than to actually fix any. But luckily there's a workaround for this problem. Before we move forward with the new settings on the camera, if you haven't seen my previous video, do go back and watch that as I give you step by step instructions how to upgrade the firmware. And you need to do that first and make sure you got the latest firmware before applying these new settings. Okay, moving on to the settings part of the video, let's move over to my desktop. Okay, once you've got your Synapse software open, all you need to do is go to the cog in the top right, click on that, and just make sure you're on the current version of the software. If you're not on the current version, it should automatically update, but if it hasn't, just click on check for updates. And the next thing you need to do is default all your Synapse software settings. We're not gonna change anything in the actual Synapse software. I'm gonna click on the advanced tab, which takes you into the Windows camera settings. And then the first column the only one we need to worry about is gain, but we're not going to touch that for the minute. Let's move on to the second tab. First thing you need to do is untick autofocus and set that manually. So I'm at arm's length from the camera. So the best thing to do is to turn the focus all the way up to the right and then slowly bring it back. And I know for me it's around 177. going that focus is bang on for me and then the next tab we need to untick is exposure and for this one we need to bring the slider all the way to the left and then slowly bring it up until you see your pictures overexposed and then bring it back one and there's one other setting to untick is the low light compensation untick that click apply move over to the first tab now, there's a bit of a glitch with the gain. As soon as I start moving the slider, you notice the image will go really dark, like so. And what you need to do is move the gain all the way to the right, bring it all the way back to the left, and then slowly increase it till your image starts to look overexposed, and then bring it back till you are happy with the color and click apply, click OK, and then click camera. And it basically save all your settings as that. Uh, until Razer come out with a like an update to sort the issue out, unfortunately, each time you turn off the computer, turn it back on, because of the glitch with the gain settings, you'll find when you log back onto your computer, the image will look really dark like this, or if not, you might not even be able to see yourself. So you need to go back into the settings. You might not have to touch the exposure, but what I normally do, so I can see myself in the camera, click auto exposure, uncheck auto exposure, and go back onto gain. Do the same thing again, all the way to the right, all the way back to the left, then raise it up. Like I say, to your overexposed and then bring it back a bit to you're happy with the image. Hope this video has helped you out, guys. If you got value out of the video, do smash that like button. Also hit the subscribe because there'll be more videos like this one coming out in the future. Also below, there's the link to my Twitch channel. So you're welcome to follow me over on there. Until next time, guys, take care.